Hello everyone, welcome to my channel once again, uh, Zers here! So, let's go back to school once again! Uh, yeah! Oh gosh, how oh, I'm so excited to go back to school! And let's go. So, what can we have? Biology. Mr. Jack is waiting for us, so we can give a class. Because if you don't go, if you want to go to class, he would give a class, and that's very sad for a professor. Hey, hello, hello. I hope everyone's ready to learn some new things today. I seem to remember teaching uh, you all about the importance of eggs in our last uh, class together, yep, yep. Ah, on that note, is everyone using their Pokédex? I, uh, it registers Pokémon uh, born from eggs as well, though, as well as those encountered via the other methods, so don't you worry about that. And, uh, <laughs> just so you know, I'm the one who developed the Pokédex, the Pokédex app, yo, everyone needed to know that. Don't they? Oh, you're happy. You're flexing. It was way before I started teaching here at the academy, though. Back then, I was a researcher. Oh, another researcher. In fact, Director uh, Clovel wasn't working in the education at that time either. He was researching alongside me at the same facility. Oh, so you have a background together. Okay. We got uh, to research Pokemon together day in, day out. Those sure were fun times. Yeah, I imagine that. I got yelled at all the time though. <laughs> Wait a second, how did I get onto this? Pretty sure I was talking about the Pokédex, yeah you were. Uh, anyway, today I'd like to teach you about catching Pokémon. Really guy, I already know how to catch Pokémon, don't worry. As you all know, a great way to catch Pokémon more easily is to first lower its HP. But there's another way up to up to your change... Uh, to, ah! What? <laughs> But there's another way to up your chances of, of a successful catch. Can you guess what it is? Uh, inflict Pokemon with status condition. Wow, that's right, that's a great job. The correct technique for making Pokemon easier to catch is to inflict them with a status condition. Uh, sleep is an especially effective status condition. That's very true. It makes Pokemon drastically easier to catch. Yeah, that's why my Bloom has Spore. If you if you have a Pokemon that can use that uh, move move uh, that can use move that put opponents to sleep, like Sleep Powder or Hypnosis, filling up your Pokédex will be a cinch. Uh, not exactly, but will help a lot. There are a lo there are other ways to improve your catch rate as well, like using Pokéballs specifically designed to be effective against against. Uh, a certain Pokemon, eating food that gives you catching power works too, or sneaking up on a Pokemon from behind to catch them by surprise then you start a, a battle. If you're having trouble you may want to make the rounds of the gyms to get gym badges. Everything gym ba- every- oh every- how the hell am I seeing every? Oh my gosh I'm- uh, I'm tired. <laughs> Earning gym badges will make it easier to catch Pokemon of higher and higher levels. So, I spoke about this after the gyms from what we saw in the text, but apparently it's true. So it's easier to catch Pokemon with uh, the more badges you have. Okay, that's nice to know. Please to come show me your Pokedex once they started to fill up. Another day, another enjoyable class. Oh yeah, don't forget, our next class will be at... A what? Oh gosh. Test. Oh... That reminds me of school. Just it wasn't that bad, but I didn't like tests. I was always stressed. But okay. <laughs> Midterm. Let's go to math. What will we learn about math today? In relation to Pokemon. Dun, dun. Hello everyone, let's have a fun class today. Tell me, do we all enjoy fortune telling, horoscopes and the like? Uh, teacher, we're in a math class? 
fortune telling horoscopes are you for real let's see what where where it goes okay i think it feels great to read your horoscope and see uh that it says good luck is coming your way so today i'd like to teach you all math while focusing on the topic of luck perhaps you have seen the following phrase crop up during pokemon battles before oh that's uh, how you why you spoke about um luck a critical hit when a pokemon attack uh, lands as a critical hit the damage it deals is increasing by half in other words it does one and a half times as the, as much damage as it normally would wasn't it doubled mm, okay maybe i'm overthinking a little or i'm comparing to the um, uh super effective moves maybe that it it is uh, it is truly luck that determines whether your Pokemon lands a critical hit or has one landed on it. Yet the, uh, this can cause a great upset in battle. Oh, oh yes, it can. Does anyone know what the percentage chance of a Pokemon has of landing a critical hit? About one percent. One. Uh, I don't know. Wait, huh? Seriously? Huh. That is correct, well done Zers. The chance of landing a critical hit is said to be 1 in 24. See if it's 1 in... Oh, 1 in 24, 4 in 100. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. That's... Uh, I was thinking about 25%, but no. Okay. 1 in 24, which figured to roughly 4.17%. Uh, the odds were m more favorable for certain moves though. Why moves such as Stone Edge and Shadow Claw have about a 12% chance? Oh, that's nice to know. You can also use a, a move called Focus Energy or an item Noah's Direct Hit. Both raise a critical hit ratio by two stages. That's a 50% chance to land a critical hit. Focus Energy does that? I never paid attention to that attack. But it's good. It feels great to land a critical hit, but perhaps not so great to be struck by one. Oh, that's for sure. There is a surprising amount of mathematical probability hindered in Pokemon battles, you know? Yeah, well hidden. If you are able to do the calculations that will swing luck in your favor, it may open the door for more strategic choices for you during battle. Oh, and classes ended. <coughs> oh my, is that the bell? I suppose that's all for now. What a shame. Next class will be your fun midterm exam. A uh, fun? Uh, teacher, you should already been a student. I don't think exams are fun, but okay. I hope you'll be looking forward to it. Fun, yeah. I think I only had one kind of fun exam, but uh, uh, in general, no. History, yeah, yeah. Let's go. E Greetings, my little students. Whatever you did yesterday is now a part of history. No, really? I didn't know that. Today we will continue to unravel the marvels that history has presented to us. As you should remember from our last class, the Area Z uh, Zero Great Era of Exploration began about 2000 years ago. This era, uh, this era lasted for approximately 1000 years, but not, uh, not a single soul was able to venture all the way to the de deepest reaches of Area, area Zero. Having poured much of his human and financial resources in the exploration of the Area Zero for so long, the Paldean Empire fell into decline. 200 years later, or 800 years ago, the Empire and its surrounding nations united in one entity. This was the formation of Paldea as we know it today. Oh yes, this very academy uh, where we, uh, your ah. Where you are now filling your young minds with knowledge was also apparently established at that time. Really? They had, they were kind of they were kind of good if they could build that school 800 years ago. In fact, this school building, though certainly having undergone repairs through the years, is just as it was when it was built so uh, long ago. Okay, nice to know. 
This very structure is a piece of history. Haha, <laughs> things, uh, things of old are truly explained. Are truly explained. Yeah, kinda. Depends on what, but kinda. I would certainly prefer it not to have uh, the Pokeball portion though. A, re a relict uh, relictively, ah! relictively new edition. Oh, so the Pokeball isn't original. Okay. Maybe there's a Pokemon inside. That would be cool actually. Very cool. Hmm. Uh huh. Perfect timing to make eye contact. Exert. No, I wasn't. I wasn't making eye contact. Let's see if you've been listening to my lecture. Tell me, approximately how many years ago was this academy of ours established? Uh, 800 years ago. Correct. I see the look of concentration on your face was indeed just that. Yeah, there certainly was a look of concentration, professor. Without a doubt. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing more. I hate uh, nothing more than when a student only pretends to listen. Yeah, like 90% of the students or more. <laughs> this academy was constructed exactly 805 years ago, to be precise. In other words, your academy here is 8,000, 8,000, 805 years ago, years old. Oh my gosh. Ah, dear Arceus, give me patience. At the time, it offered state-of-the-art uh, state facilities and a uniquely innovative curriculum. As such, people use it to say, those seeking knowledge need, no f need look no further than the grabs of Paldea. Oh, okay. That's right, they were referring to the OVA Academy. Yay! It is said that this proverb of sort was even used in outside the, of Paldea region. Oh, you're happy about that, aren't you? Oh, ho! Is it that time already? I must have gotten uh, swept up in filling your minds with knowledge. This ends today's lesson. Our next class will be our midterm exam again. Wait a second. Will I be? Will we have midterm exams for everything? Uh, no, that's kind of sad. Uh, languages. Let's go see Mr. Salvatore. Those loading screams. They could be quicker. My dear friends, how are you all today? You certainly look fantastic. It's time for an uh, for another one of Salvatore's language lessons. At vous prêt? Are you ready? Yes, we are. Ahem, êtes-vous prêt? Are you ready? Oui! Très bien, very good. My lessons are not a one-way street, no, no. I am très triste when no one speaks up. Very sad that is. Uh, don't worry, professor, I will speak. In our last class, I believe I taught you all how to say delicious in other languages, like, right? In le cours d'aujourd'hui, uh, today's class, we will learn about a very special phrase that you can put to use when the time is just right. Aistera, Aisteru, Jetem, Te Amo, Ichilibidich, Ichilibidich. <laughs> Does anyone know what those phrases mean? I love you. Fan fantastic, sirs. Correct. You deserve a medal or uh, a gold medal. Uh, I'm not in the, Olympi uh, the Olympics, so I don't know if I should be receiving a gold medal, but if you say so, Professor, who am I to say otherwise? Jetem, Te Amo. It's Libidich. Those three phrases you may know, I think. Why? Because they're all quite famous ways to say I love you. Oh my. Have I embarrassed all uh, you all, my friend? Uh, maybe? I don't know? What timid, what, uh, timid little garçon et fille. Shy boys and girls, that is. It's so very important to express our feelings about things to, uh, things to others, you know. This is especially true for positive emotions. If you get married someday and argue with your spouse over a silly little thing, all you have to do is apologize and say I love you. It will be rabia and it will be well, that is. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if that will work every time, but at least it's a good start. I should know. Why? Just last week I had a big argument with my fam, my dear wife, that is. But I was quick to say I'm sorry and and all as well. And now, apropos of nothing, let me give you, uh, let me give you all one of my wise words of advice. 
it's best uh, to be quick to apologize when you have an argument with someone. That's true. That goes for your family, friends and your crushes. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Our next class will be uh, me, the midterm exams. Yay! Be sure to review what we've learned. In all our classes so far. Adios. Matane. Yeah, yeah. I will, I will revise without stopping for a second, professor. Don't worry. That's not true, guys. That's not true. Yeah, so next class. Oh, it's Miss Dendra. Let's go see what she wants today. <laughs> another day, another round of battle study, Yusu. Let's get right to it. Last time we learned about the terror rift battle. Did any of you have a chance to try them out? Oh, a lot. A lot. Terra Pokemons are super strong and the more uh, difficult ones you will use an even tougher tactic that you'll need to deal with. I'm talking about their Terra Shield. What happens while, uh, while a Pokemon has its Terra Shield up, you ask? Well, it, it will take way less damage for one. It has a big effect on morale too. Yeah, kinda. When trainers see that shield go up, they feel doomed, uh, like there's no way to win the battle. So, here's a question for you. If the Pokemon you're battling puts up its terror shield, what should you do? <laughs> Calm your <pa> <laughs> Yeah, hey, mom, I'm on my terror battle, uh, and, the poke and uh, my opponent just put up the shield. Uh, can you come and help? Seriously? What the hell over Nancy? Terrestalize and attack it. That's right, you're a regular terror raid battle master, uh, master, aren't you, new kid? Yeah, I am. I have done a lot of them. Regular attacks won't work so well against Pokemon that have their terror shield up. But having the Pokemon terrestalize is an effective method to overcome that issue. A terrestalized Pokemon will do more damage to shield the Pokemon. Tr Really? Hmm, that's, that's kinda neat. Need to try that out. Especially if it uses moves that match its Terra types. Yeah, stab. Dealing enough damage to a Pokemon with Terra Shield it, uh, up can destroy the shield and break the Pokemon's stance. This means that it's important to properly time your terrestrializing in Terra Raid battles. Hmm. Thanks, for, uh, thanks for the info, Professor. In conclusion, as they say, fire, uh, fight fire with fire and Terra Pokemon with Terra Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. I'll take note of that. Be sure to work together with your teammates to smash through your opponent's Terra Shield. Oh man, I was just about to suggest we do some hands-on passing to really drive the point home. But I guess we are out of time once again. Next class will be our midterm exam. Um, aim for a perfect score. Is... Yeah, yeah, 100%. I'll try. Or not. It depends on the time. Uh, so, how many? Two more classes. Yay! Class will begin soon, don't be a tardy, yeah I won't. Hello class, it is I, Ashton, here again. I've been told that my previous lecture about the ter uh, terrestrial phenomenon was very well received. Thank you all for your kind words. In fact, Mrs. Dend especially requested that I impart even more battle, no uh, battle knowledge to my students. Yeah, that's that's good knowledge. So I have decided that today we will take another look at how a Pokemon can terrestrialize. Hello, Gibble. Give, give you. And of course, here is Professor Gibble to help us. Now then, Professor Gibble, if you would if you would be so if you would be so kind as to terrestrialize for us. Go, Gibble! 
<laughs> little gable so cute now that you, now what we have here last class we saw uh, gla uh, grass type terrestrializing but this time we have something of a different shape yeah it's ice observe a terra jewel resembling a snowflake as it's as then its dendritic shape is stunning and to behold it's a yeah, it's a little chilly uh, ah, it's a little it's a little chilly standing so close to it oh my gosh i call i can't read today um. so class what terra type do you imagine this jewel might be represent ice type Excellent, sirs. Full marks for you. The reason there's a snowflake shining above the professor level's head is simple. It is now a nice type. And because Professor Gable is, cor is cor currently the ice type, ice type moves will not be very effective against it. Keep in mind, usually they will deal quadruple damage to Gable. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of cool. Now, here's some, some trivia about snowflakes. While snowflakes come in many different shapes and sizes, most are classified as hexagons. Just think of it, snowflakes fall from the sky, taking similar shapes without anyone saying. They must. Okay. Do you not feel the great mystery of nature, the beautiful enigma we live in? Uh, no? Yes? Maybe? Ah, this is a bit of a tangent, but Mr. Jack's glasses are also hexagonal, aren't they? I almost forgot to mention that you can change the Pokemon stereotype as the treasure eatery. Oh, we can change it. That's nice. Located in Medali. Though I must say the cook there is a little prickly. You'll need to get on her good side if you want her help. Okay, nice for the video. Thanks for the tip. Now you can prepare for the next class because it is time for our, our midterm examination. Yeah, I think we'll have exams for everything. Start. This is starting to remember me about the Persona games. At least the three, four, and five. I never played one and two. I know that uh, they pass it in schools. Uh, not um, Persona Two Innocence scene. I don't know, because there's two games of Persona 2. But the 3, 4, uh, four and 5, yes. We have exams it and uh, everything. So, let's go to Mr. Saguado and Home Economics. Mm. Sorry. Put away your phones, it is time to begin class. In my class, I thought about HP restoration. However, after class, I, I was asked by several of you about power points, commonly known as PP. When a Pokemon loses all of its HP, it faints and can no longer battle. What then happens to a Pokemon when it loses all of its PP? Uh, it can't use moves. Perfectly correct, Master Zers. Perhaps you know this from first-hand experience? Yes, but not from this game. At least not for now. When a Pokemon runs out of PP, it can no longer use its moves. However, each move has its own store of PP, so you can mitigate PP loss by using a variety of moves rather than just one more, one move repeatedly. If a Pokemon loses all PP for all of its moves, it will only be able to use Struggle, an action that also damages the Pokemon that uses it. Yep. In order to avoid this predicament, PP can be restored at the Pokemon centers along with HP. Such uh, items such as Eaters and uh, Max Eaters can also be used uh, to restore PP and Elixirs too, but Elixirs restore uh, HP and PP, and they're very rare. Be careful not to use potions with uh, com uh, confuse potions with Eaters in the heat of a battle. Yeah, that could make the difference between winning a fight and losing a fight. <laughs> However, Eaters are not sold as at shops, so you should use them judiciously if you find them. The stronger the move, the lower its maximum PP. Do not waste. Uh, uses of those moves unless you wish to quickly run out of PP. Uh, it is important to find balance in a Pokemon set of moves. Oh yeah! As you can see, HP isn't the only thing you must keep an eye on while adventuring Pokemon. Ah. I hope that you will all take care to ensure that your partner Pokemon can perform at their best. 
uh, as you each engage in the treasure hunt our, our time together has come to an end for today our next meeting will be an examination day yay be sure to review all in, pre in preparation yeah yeah professor I will start right away yay and that Ah, exams, exams. So, I think we, we have uh, ended with classes for now. Uh, yep, we have midterms for everything. So, is there someone to talk? So, we have uh, two people at the entrance hall. And we uh, home economics, but... Wait, home economics and we have Miss Kenda. Why? Okay. Oh, there she is. Hello, Professor. Wait, are you trying to cook? Uh, I, I hope you you need to learn because that last sandwich. Oh gosh. Listen, new kid. Fancy meeting you here in the home economics classroom. What a coincidence, huh? Yeah. Likewise. Uh, so, well, you see. Whoa. Why are you like that? Miss Dendra tells me she is here for in intensive training in sandwich making. Oh, yeah, she really needs it. But intense tra intensive training, okay. Uh, well, no use hiding it now. Oh dear, I'm terrible, sorry. Were you keeping this a secret? Well, I mean, not really, but it just doesn't look good. Doesn't look very cool to openly admit that uh, I'm here for intensive training, you know? <laughs> oh, understood. I will be more careful in the future. Well, new kid, now that you know what I'm up to, I guess you'll have just have to help me out with my training here. No, no, please. Shoot another student. Look, there are more students there. Why me? Try this sandwich. It's the result of my training so far. Training? Okay, let's try it. Miss Denda's sandwich was soggy and hard to eat, and once again the taste left much to be desired. Yeah, I thought so. That was my that was my meat lover's prosecute, uh, prosecute, prosecute, uh, prosciutto bacon and chorizo sandwich. How was it? Uh, it was uh, a little meat heavy. He could have used some more veggies. Yeah. <gasps> oh, sh she's amazed. <gasps> what? You mean there was a problem with my choice of filling? I guess focusing on, on muscle building ingredients really did the number on the flavor, huh? Uh, Miss Dendra, I believe a simple addition of butter will have done wonders for your sandwich. Butter helps to protect the bread from getting soggy due to the moisture of the ingredients. It can also work to enhance the sandwich flavor. Ooh, nice butter. Go, go, butter! <laughs> uh, butter? That makes sense. Thank you for teaching me the, that tip, Mr. Seguaro. But why didn't you tell me that uh, that while I was making the sandwich? Uh, well, uh, you see, when I saw you, I had not realized you had begun your um, food prep. I thought you were simply trying to destroy my classroom. Ah, boom! <laughs> Guys, that's a cursed comment right there. Oh my gosh, all her... Um, I Motivation. <laughs> went drown right now uh, <laughs> like I said well anyway new kid thanks to you and mr. Seguaro here I may f I may finally be getting a to hand of this uh, I hope so thanks for your advice oh gosh poor miss Dendra uh, next Oh, we have the we have the professor at the cafeteria. Well, let's see what what he has to say. Oh, he's just right over here. <clears throat> Hello, Master Zers of, of class one A. He said it's been some time since we last met. Uh, no, I saw you just just now. But okay, are you here to eat as well? Yep, I'm starving. Yeah, excellent. You shouldn't uh, battle on the empty stomach. I myself am here to uh, survey the student cafeteria, let's say. Surveying? 
Really? Are you inspecting the cafeteria, the quality of the food, or something like that? Oh gosh. I am observing the nutritional content of the food that our students partake on a regular basis. Oh, you're inspecting the students. That's even worse. One item in the menu here that I am particularly interested in is in the peanut butter sandwich. Yeah, peanut butter is good. It is sweet and quite delicious. Yes, perhaps I will order one right now. Oh, look, it's Mr. Saguaro. He's so fashionable and cool. I guess the teachers come to the cafeteria to her too, huh? Do you think you will have you'll have the an egg sandwich? No way. If he gets anything here, it will definitely be something spicy like the five alarm sandwich. Five alarm? Really? That kind of nan reminds me something that will wake the death from their graves. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, it's so cool. You'll definitely get that wild and spicy five alarm sandwich. Uh, it doesn't look like he wants that. Uh, could I have a, a five alarm sandwich? I do enjoy the thrill of spicy food. Uh, she's not, he's not very convincing, but okay. But Mr. Seguar, what are, no, have a peanut butter sandwich. Oh, his face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. You suggested I have the peanut butter sandwich, Master Zest. I suppose I shall have to try one. Uh, if you insist. Yeah, yeah, if I insist, that's for sure. That was close. I almost forced myself to order something spicy. My least favorite of flavors. Ah, so, yeah, I'm a savior now. I thank you for restraining me, Master Zers. Okay, don't worry. We're welcome. It seems that the students tend to view me as a fashionable and cool, or even, dare I say it, exuding a sort of brooding strength. Yeah! Uh, okay, if you say so. I won't say anything else. I have a habit of uh, acting in such a way so as not to destroy their image of me. Don't do that. Uh, everyone, don't try to be someone else, guys. I know that sometimes you need, but that's not good for your, for you, for you. You'll be stressed and uh, you may start to lose um, auto confidence if you try to be someone else. Uh, I showed my true colors to you just now without thinking. Please keep this a secret between us. Don't worry, professor. I won't tell anyone. Except for all the people that will see this video in the internet. So you, you don't have to worry. Okay. Next. Um. Uh, where's the door? Oh, here. Uh, so we have two in the schoolyard and that on the entrance. Let's go to the schoolyard first. Oh, one is right over here. <coughs> ah, sorry. Hello, there, sirs. I try to visit the schoolyard from time to time. It's good to see young ones with so much energy and vigor. Ooh. Uh, yeah. You think so? Oh, oh, yes, indeed. Just watching is enough to make even an old man like me feel more alive. Ah, uh, if you say so. Master Russell, might I have a word? What the hell just happened? Why did the music end it? You. What are you doing here? And apparently he's not happy, so... The hell? I have told you many times not to bother me here at the academy. Yet I am bound to come. Our family future is on the of the paramount of importance. Family future? Is she your wife? Oh, I can turn on the camera. So I can see her. Mm. She's not pleased. It was good speaking with users. Something important has come up, so I must ex uh, excuse myself now. Okay, he's not happy. Let let us discuss this matter elsewhere. Come. Bye. So. Uh. 
there's Miss Kendama that not is not she uh, nothing there mm. oh oh it was you what's that uh, oh I wanted to see which Pokemon was it okay Zers I'm a little bit of a pinch. Uh, what? Why? Take a look at this. Yeah, it's a Pokemon. What's the problem? This Pommy really doesn't seem to be feeling well. I don't know if the poor thing can even stand that. Calm, my guy. Calm down. What should I do? What should I do? Calm down, like I said. Use a potion, for example. Try to be rational. Oh my god. Oh, right, I could use a potion. Do you have any on Do you have any on you? Are you serious? You're a goddamn teacher. I'm a student. You don't have a money to buy a potion? It's 200 pocket dollars. You should... You could buy the entire stock. I suppose. Or maybe not. I don't know how much they gain, but... Apparently... You're underpaid, my guy. Okay, take the potion. Oh my gosh. Seriously. This will fix you right up, my friend. Potion power. Go! Go, go, go! Oh, it's kind of cute. It's sleeping! Phew. That seems to have done the trick just in the nick of time. That smile. <laughs> but this pommy doesn't appear to belong to a trainer, huh? Could the wild Pokemon have wandered onto the school grounds? On the academy grounds? Yeah, maybe, but it can't fly, so I don't know how, but okay. Still, I can't, I can't just leave it here alone without anyone to make sure it's okay. <laughs> it's a cider then. I, Salvatore, will just have to lend all of the helping hands I have to take care of Pommy in this tough and go situation. Go for it, my guy, go for it. Merci very much for your advisors. Don't worry, Professor. It's, uh, it's, it's for the Pokemon good, so... Don't worry. Adieu, au revoir. Farewell. Farewell, Professor. Farewell. I, I think you need to ask for a raise. I forgot to tell you that, but... Uh, no, no, don't question things, sirs. Don't question things. So, now we have uh, two more. Oh, one's there, and the other one is over there. I'll let the nurse for after because that's the one I prefer. Hello, professor. Oh my, if it isn't Zersa, yay. Please forgive me if this is an odd question. What? The hell? Were you perhaps watching me from afar just now? Uh, nope. Uh, I just got here and I was looking for you. I wasn't uh, stalking you. Don't worry. I just got here. It's the truth. You guys saw it, didn't you? Yes, I suppose you wouldn't have been doing something like that. I'm sorry. Uh, now I'm curious. Why the hell were you asking that? You see? Oh, uh, how should I put this? Recently there have been times when I feel as if I am being watched. Professor! Are you saying you have a stalker? Oh... Let's call the Pokemon detective and uh, unravel this mystery. <laughs> well, how the hell was it called? Uh, uh, locker. Yeah, it was Locker. We, call, we should call Locker to come and help in this case. Not by a Pokemon, mind you, but, uh, uh, but by a person. I thought it might be a ghost, so I tried asking my sister for help. She said it most likely isn't one. She's good with ghost-type Pokemon, you know. But you just said it wasn't a Pokemon. Why are you missing ghost-type Pokemon? Ah, <sighs> you love Pokemon logic. Don't worry. 
perhaps one of my students is qu is quietly watching me waiting for a chance for a to to ask me to ask me a question uh professor i wouldn't think that's the case but i won't even tell you i won't want to demoralize you even more uh that might be it uh maybe <laughs> maybe yeah Godness, if that wasn't an intense gaze I felt. If you notice someone with a sort of fire in their eyes, come tell me, won't you? If they are too shy to come ask me themselves, then I'll go to, uh, and then I'll go to them. Don't, professor, don't do that. Don't do that. So she f just felt a, a, fi a fury gaze. Hmm. I don't think there's someone here looking for you, professor. Oh, is that a third floor? Oh, in there, and there are. Uh... Oh, wait. Oh, so we have different books. So there's certain books you can read. Another green one. Oh, apparently yes. Okay. Oh, a statue. Oh, a Pokemon. Oh, he's sleep. He's sleeping almost. Okay, I don't know who he is, but okay. Let's continue. Let's go see the nurse. <laughs> Hello nurse, how are you? I like your hair and uh, the color. Oh, hey Zers, uh, Miriam, nice name. Sorry, were you looking were you looking for me? I've been away from the nurse's of office lately. Did you need something from me? Uh, no, but I will say yes because I think you will be happier than like that. Are your Pokemon hurt? Just a sec. No, no, no. Good. Here you go, a little first aid. You must really be having on an adventure out there, judging from those scrapes and cuts. Yeah, I'm hurt all over my body, Professor. You won't even imagine it. Oh? Oh yeah, I guess it is pretty unusual for me to be on the, out of the nurse's office like this. Uh, well, I'm actually doing a bit of studying. Ah. That's what I was about to say because she did tell us that she tried a lot of times doing the exam to become a teacher and uh, she always um, um, lo lo uh, lost uh, that opportunity. She didn't pass the exam. So she's in the library and I was about to ask if she was studying but she answered before I called answer. Though I try my best at the health teacher certification exam one more time. Good luck, Professor. You can do it. Just so you know, it's totally not because I'm inspired by a certain some, somebody working hard at uh, their treasure hunt, okay? So, she's a tsundere! Oh, but okay, I hope that I could help you. Well, maybe I am just a little bit. No, you aren't. Go for it. Since if it is your dream, go for it. So, you know, uh, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome, Miriam. Oh, my break time's almost over. I know you'll be cheering on me, Zers. Uh, yes, I will. Yes, I will. Okay, I think we ended. Let's see if we have uh, any more uh, question mark, exclamation markers, but I don't think so. And uh, nope. And guys, look. I need two more Pokemons for the Pokedex request. 120, 198. <laughs> but I know, uh, uh, but I, I know where I was catching some new Pokemons just before starting to recording this episode. Uh, I saw Pokemons that I missed and I roughly know where they are. So I need to go catch them and uh, yeah. not in the next episode, but uh, maybe for the next uh, at class. Um, when we do the process, the next uh, <laughs> class episodes, um, 
Cam, mascarada. When you do the next episodes, uh, we'll, uh, I'll be able to get the, uh, the reward for the 200 filling Pokedex that Mr. Jack asked us. So, guys, let's end the episode here. Like always, the, uh, rest well, Zers out. <laughs>